There's a claim going around from a lot of influencers in the networking community that the DevNet associate isn't really in demand yet with employers, but I think we should dig into that a little bit more. Let's go. If you get your DevNet Associate certification, do you have a legitimate shot at getting a job out there in the networking sphere? That's what we're gonna unpack in this video. But if this is your first time visiting my channel and you'd like to grow your IT skills and your IT career, click that little subscribe and the little bell. It's free to click and you'll get notified when new content comes available. All right, I've heard this one before that people out there, HR com companies, they're not demanding the DevNet Associate certification yet. If you get the cert, that's cool. It supports network automation in general. It validates your skills, but no one's really hiring for that. I don't really think that's the case. You see, it's been my experience that certifications typically come in response to labor market demand. We want to people are demanding these skills and we need to validate that they have them. So vendors make the certification exam for that. Now, Cisco does feel a little bit ahead of their time with this one. They've got the DevNet associate programs as well as the automation exams at the professional level. Those automation exams count towards both the CCNP and the DevNet professional. So there's like this huge range of automation options that are being certified in now. So you can get DevNet Associate, DevNet Professional, and you can specialize in security automation or enterprise automation or data center automation, and that would count towards your CCNP too. That's a huge opportunity there. So now you can validate all these skills, but does that actually lead to a real world job? And if so, how much does it pay? Let's explore that a little bit. Firing up Firefox here, I'm gonna search for network engineer, if I can spell engineer right, Python, jobs just to see what would come up for something that I think is pretty relevant. Well, immediately I see some pretty interesting stuff. There are at least a few options here right here in front of me from Google results that have network engineer with Python, network system engineer, Python, software engineer, QA, networking protocols in Python. Beyond that, I see some relevant search results down here in Indeed, and I'll check those out in just a second. Uh, but I'm going to start by clicking on network engineer with Python here in Denver, Colorado, and we can take a look immediately. Well, this is looking for a $71,000 a year pay range for systems engineer, computer networking, and IT, and must have Python experience. Now, I think that's another good differentiating thing here is that a lot of the arguments against the DevNet Associate exam is that this is really a software developer exam. It's not for networking, but I'm looking at this job opening right here that's asking load balancer experience, network engineer experience, BGP with multicast experience, but also software development with Python. See, to me, when I look at this job posting, they're looking for a network engineer. They're not looking for a software developer. They just want a network engineer who has software developer skills. And interestingly, I can see all of these other positions over here that are very similar too, that have kind of the same job title. I like Python Automation Network Engineer. That sounds cool. And their requirements are listed right here as well. That pretty much identify both networking skills as well as server skills and Python automation skills. But let's jump back for a second, all the way back to that initial search result. And the job title that I'm gonna search for now is Network Automation Engineer Jobs. Well, this is the one, this is the title uh, that I think the end goal is going to be to get to here. I recently saw someone on Twitter that I follow just announced that they're starting their career as a network automation engineer. And I was like, well, that's really cool. I wonder if that's a common title. And it took one Google search to find out that, boom, there are over a hundred of these openings right now. So if I jump into network automation engineer, network automation architect, now I see a lot of very interesting skill sets and requirements that are here. And again, I don't see anything here that says they're looking for a software developer who's just getting interested in networking. I see kind of the mix of both. For instance, when did you learn about VRFs and VXLAN? Did you learn that in CCNA? No, I mean, you were going pretty far up the stack when you got into VRFs, VXLAN, BGP. These are things that you're getting into CCNP or above level. But they are also looking for the things like CICD pipelines, database management. Now, this is actually getting into DevNet professional stuff, too. So an ideal candidate who's applying for this position, the senior network automation engineer, would probably have both the CCNP and the DevNet professional. But I can click on a job posting here that's in Austin, Texas, and kind of scroll down and look at the responsibilities. And I get really excited when I see that automation engineers have to have multi-vendor skills. Look at this, Cisco and Juniper right there. 
So, fascinating, there are plenty of jobs out there for people who are getting serious about network automation stuff. And I think the takeaway here is that they need to have some experience when it comes to network engineering as well as some sort of Python automation. Getting familiar with those CI-CD pipelines, source control techniques, and all the other tools, the stuff that's covered under DevNet Associate and DevNet Professional, is going to validate that you have the skills that can go along with this. So, maybe there's not entry-level positions here, sure, but those certifications can absolutely lead to network automation jobs. And now the question is, are those jobs worthwhile? Do they pay enough to make it worth your time to study for and go for those certifications? Let's dig into that. If I just scroll down on the page that I'm already on, I see a network automation test engineer has a range of 62 to 93,000 per year. And not too surprisingly, a senior network engineer is paid 72 to $130,000 a year. The bottom ranges are relatively close, within 10,000 of each other. The top ranges here are not. Uh, but this one is a test engineer. It's not an automation engineer, whereas this is a full-blown engineer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back, and I'm just going to change this jobs here in my search to salary. Well, Glassdoor has network automation engineer, and the average pay, the average base pay here, is roughly $80,000 a year. If I scroll down a hair, I can see some salaries here, like Intel paying in the 110 to 120 range, Facebook paying in the 136 to 148. You get the idea. It's safe to say that your range here is going to be somewhere around 65 to 70 at the bottom, and it could be upwards of 140 at the top. Of course, these statistics, these job openings, everything is in the United States, and you'll want to check what's going on in your region to see what's available, what's in demand in your area too. You could also, you know, be the change. You could be the one who ushers network automation into your area, which is also a cool opportunity too. But I think this kind of goes to say the DevNet associate, the DevNet professional, and any of the automation specialties, they have a lot of value to them. This is where things are going. Large institutions are rapidly adopting DevOps practices and applying that to their network. So yes, you do need to fully understand what network engineering is. You probably should start with the CCNA and really understand and how OSPF even works in the first place before you try and automate it. But once you've tackled that and you really want to start diving into where the industry is heading and you really want to jump into it, you should know that validating your skills with a DevNet certification or the automation specialties, there's a lot of value in that businesses are demanding it right now and they are paying high salaries for them too. As always, I would encourage you to dig into CBT Nuggets when it comes to training for these certification exams. The DevNet Associate course is out right now. The InAuto course is coming out very soon. And we're going to start working on the DevCore, the DevNet Professional Core course, very soon too. So that's been my take on job availability and salaries when it comes to network automation. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.